If you're 16 years old, this is what I would do to become a millionaire. Step one, I want you to read these three books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Cash Flow Quadrant, and Art of the Start. Step two, I want you to pick this skill and I want you to master it. I want you to read as much as you can about it and I want you to go out and practice it. Ready? Selling. Step three, I want you to pick something to sell. Go to your neighbors, bang on their doors, offer to mow their lawns, wash their cars, babysit. As soon as you've gone to someone's house and mowed their lawn, the very first question you're gonna ask them, this is the next step, is hey, would you like me to just come do this for you every week? Because you're gonna turn that revenue into recurring revenue. The next step is every time you finish a job, you are going to go to that client or that person and say, hey, are there three people that you could just refer me to right now who would really help me grow my new business? If you're a kid and you're younger and you're asking that, trust me, they're all going to do it. I want you to take as much of the money you're getting and immediately invest it into index funds. Do not go out spending it. Now, I want you to save up until you have enough to be able to buy your first real estate. This could take a few years, not only to become a millionaire, but to stay a millionaire for the rest of your life. Hey boss, how are you? If you want to take one step, I'll just show you. Those. I'm good. I got teenagers. I'm not into it. I hope to have teenagers in a long time too. Give you a quick price, just so you know. Love the view back there, eh? Three jobs in one. It would normally be 309. It comes on a 209. As soon as we're done, you, me, and the dish towel can walk around and. Nope, but I'm good. Price or the value you're kind of a bit hesitant on. I got kids who should be doing this stuff. Have they ever done it in the past? No. Why don't we just do this, sir? Because obviously there's a bit of buildup and the kids thing probably won't happen. Why don't we just call it 149 and get the whole house done? It'll happen. They're okay. good. But thanks. I got to roll. Cool. Take and then care. just final thing, and this is a Hail Mary. Throw in all the siding on the bottom part of the entrance and the doorways. That's fine. If you could just make sure the windows are closed, pop by in probably two hours and get it done for you. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. See you soon. 33 years old, already freaking crushing life. What would you tell everybody listening if they were right around your age, not crushing yet? When I was a broke Filipino boy? Yeah. For one, I wasn't trying to better myself in terms of like making money. You know, I wasn't watching YouTube. I wasn't going to events. I wasn't listening to podcasts like that. I wasn't doing any of that. I never got inspired. I never got new ideas. I never knew what was possible. I got lucky that I figured out couch flipping without any of it. I think that people already listening to this, they're already like on a better path. But the difference is if they're still broke, they're not taking action with what they hear. So I listened and became humble and coachable because I didn't know. I knew that I didn't know. But here's something I did know. I did know that if I listen to other people that have what I want in life, their their lifestyle, their freedom, you know, giving money to charity, there was all these things that, wow, if, they, if I follow what they do. But see, most people won't ever look at their actual income. If I look at something that I'm doing and I don't see deposits, from what I'm doing, then that means that I don't know. See, I, 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 I immediately mentally go, if I'm not getting results, there's the reason why is I need to learn from people that are documented and teaching people how to get the level of success that I want.